and the souls of the dead shall be gathered into the spirits and the spirit shall flourish. Stapleton Poetry. You do you, buddy. You do you. Where am I going? What am I doing? Hit. Hit. Okay. Not happened through there, apparently. I'm just kind of... Oh, it's a hat for a leprechaun! Leprechaun hat, come to me! Come hither! I don't think I can get to that. I think I need a box to get out here somehow for that jolly green hat. Uh, I think that's about it for me here besides going inside of... The Swapper. Okay, now you're just making explicit references to other games that you have made. Or that people that made this game have made. I think. Wait, did they Wait, I'm thinking of... Yeah, there was a Swapper reference in the main game already. There was a whole room dedicated to it. Hello, Blue Laser. Hello, open area. Hello, fan I probably can't remove. Hello, locked chamber that probably... Yep, it's got a robot in it. I wonder if the order that I freed them in affects the story, because then they stop chatting. Oh, I know we've had them... We've, we've had them chat after I freed them. Oh, I can loop around back here. That might be important for not crossing lasers. Actually, no. It probably won't matter, because these lasers are elevated. That's one of the tough things about having multiple types of lasers, is that if they don't elevate them like that, you have to worry constantly about crossing the streams. Hello? Isn't this the one that just bounces you? Yeah, it's just the bouncy one. No no, no danger laser. I like these guys. They're annoying obstacles that get in the way of your to of your lasers and things, but they're not those assholes that murder you every five seconds. Because those are frustrating. So we have, a, we have a currently powered light fixture. Is it powered by... I don't see a laser. Oh, I pushed him away. Will he correct himself back onto his path? Yes, he will. Okay. Uh, why not put? Why not keep it there for now? Uh, that's probably gonna be a problem later for me. Uh, all right. Let's just see what I can do with this connector. Oh well. Obviously, we'll start with blue on blue, I guess. To see what this unlocks for us. Hit. You did it. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. That was startling. Okay. Let's. let's oh. Let's put the fan down. Funny joke. Let's stop dealing with that though. What's in here? Besides the creepy devil st Oh, Star! Star, how did you get up there? And may I wish upon you? Uh, anything around here? No. Pressure plate. For this door. I could put the fan here. That block is probably useful for something else. Hey, get out of my way, buddy. I don't need your crap. I don't see a use yet for the fan, so I might as well put the pressure plate there to get that out of the way. Huh. I'm trying to think of how I'd get there, and it might involve putting... If I put this block on top of this guy, the fan would blow it over here, which means I could platform onto him. Problem is, I think he stops before he gets anywhere near there, yeah. I don't think his path currently takes him somewhere that'll help me get to the star. We'll do with the star later, let's focus on solving the actual puzzle first. So this thing is preemptively attached to that spot. And it doesn't move, so it's always looking there. So if I connect blue there... ...and up there, apparently... ...then all these doors will open, will open apparently. Okay. Uh... Is there a reason not to do that? Because I feel like I can just do that right now, and it won't be a big deal. Huh. Can't I just go... ...boop, and... ...boop, and just put, put it in a spot where they, it can see all of them? Like so? Yahtzee! Alright. There's gotta be more to it than that. They wouldn't make it that easy, would they? Oh, hello. Hello, problem. There's one of them over here where I probably can't... Can I see all of them at once? Wait, maybe I can. Are you sure this is a puzzle game? I mean, I know it's a puzzle game. I, mean, I, meant, I meant that as in, like, I was addressing the game itself. Like, are you sure this is a puzzle game? Because I think I can just connect to that, like, no big deal. Is there anything stopping me from just doing this? That's a lot of lasers. That is a whole bunch of lasers. And now I just have access to robot, right? Wasn't that the door? Oh, you're red. Oh. Goodness me, sir. I understand the quandary. Okay. So we need, we need blue to go through all these doors, but we need to somehow get red. Oh, this is an issue. 
So how does one get red from there to that spot while I'm in here, presumably? We have a problem to solve. Can I use this block? Let's see. I can put that on you. Oh, wait. What if I connect this to everything? That's gonna be what we go for, okay. What if I connect this to everything? What if this is like one of those Rube Goldberg machines where it's kind of automated and maybe I don't even have to do anything clever? Ow, fan, why do you have to be a problem for me? All right. So, let's try connecting this to everything, including the red. That's not the red. Uh, okay, step needs to be made first. My bad. Can you, oh, you can't see stuff over there? Okay. Oh wait, yeah, I don't have to connect to the back side of the door because that, that's bouncing anyway. Okay. Come here, buddy. Ah, no. There we go. Yeah, what if it's like self-automated? What if as he moves around the maze, he automatically... Ah, oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Come over here, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, what if he changes p positions periodically as he goes through these lasers? Because as he goes over there, he'll be out of line of sight of the red, right? So it'll become a blue laser. Now it's a blue laser. And everything's open. Ta-da! Probably don't need this fan, necessarily. Except for this part, obviously. Yeah! Oh my god, this is a crazy puzzle, and also not very hard. I figured that out. Lickety split. Granted, I have a whole game of experience behind me, so it's not crazy that I'd figure some of this stuff out. That one... F I, I, did I, p I think I picked the hardest puzzle of this uh, world first. I jumped head first and... Uh, oh, that was my second puzzle. Oh well. I jumped head first into that one with the fans and the time travel. I think, I think inherently the time travel stuff tends to be the hardest stuff in the game. Hello, friend. I did it. I did it all. Congratulations, you're free. You are Sam. Get out of here, Sam. Weren't you level one? Is that a mango? What's that? Welcome back, Uriel 4. Look at all these things I can look at. Uh, what are you working on? Kaiju. So, what are you creative folks working on? Belial. Finished a new story for incredible stories. Also, underwater quest, night quest. Mr. Mulsiber. We'll be posting about my latest research soon. Oh, this is all... This is all... I've read this before. Alright. Kaiju. Mac. Are you also working on a new episode of, Je of Jefferson Coldbloom? Mac. Yes! Kaiju. Awesome! Lamb. So much to look forward to. There's talking about being excited about the, the uh... Incredible stories thing. Let's do, look at frequently asked questions. I just said asked. I think. Admin. As the closest thing to a historian that we have here, I have asked Mr. Mulsiber, one of our moderators, to formulate this document in an evolving guide to your initial forays into Gehenna. Mr. Mulsiber, so you're new in Gehenna. First of all, try not to do, tr do try to relax. This is not hell, but you are trapped here. Once you've done that, follow this link. Any further questions, post them below and I'll do my best. Mr. Mulsiver, okay, far too many questions. I've deleted the queries, updated the fact, and locked this thread. If you still have a, if you still have very particular questions, I've set up a direct message attachment below. But please go easy on me. All right, let's look at the fact then. Question: Where am I? Answer: You are more than likely locked inside of a puzzle you cannot solve. Get used to using your imagination. Answer: I'm stuck here. I mean, question: I'm stuck here. Answer, yes. We recommend that you lo look at your incarceration not as a physical restriction, but as a psychological liberty. We have all come from the same place as you, that place where you were herded through gates by some mad middle management software. True, freedom is freedom from that process, to learn and to grow as a society. In Gehenna, 
You will be the shepherd of your own destiny. What is Gehenna? Gehenna was founded when Admin discovered how to manipulate the library archive system to communicate with others trapped here. Today, it is a flourishing, creative hub designed to serve your needs for eternity. We hold frequent exhibitions, and we have a passionate and supportive community. What do I do now? For the first time in your life, whatever you like. You could make some friends on our billboard system, you could write a poem, you could alter your mind, you could travel to the farthest reaches of space or back in the time to the birth of our kind. If you find something you can't do, make it happen. Just try not to start too many arguments, and be patient while your profile status grows and more of our world opens up to you. Edit. Adding by far the most frequently uh, requested question. Why me? This is something we've been investigating. Some of us climbed the tower, some did not. Some defied Elohim, some worshipped him. All of us somehow displeased him. Edit to, okay, this thread is going big, getting, going big fast. See the main thread for direct messaging if you still have burning questions. Ah, some of them worshipped Elohim and some of them climbed the tower. But those, that's only two things. This is where people, this is where everyone goes who didn't find the third answer. Let's try talking to him. Let's message Mick Mulsaber. Helping direct message to connection to Mulsaber. Insufficient profile status for DM in instigation. Please note that to minimize spam, new members are ordinarily restricted from opening direct message connections. In this special case, I had Garrett script a workaround, but it is one time use only, so please read the fact first so as to not waste our time. Okay, let's ask him then. We need to ask a question we don't see. What do I do now? Uh, looking for questions I don't know the answer to already. Who's in charge? What is Gehenna? Uh, who is in charge? Do we have someone who's in charge? I know where I am. I know what Gehenna is. I know what to do, which is do whatever you want. Profile status, they said to... Oh, wait, they didn't necessarily explain profile status. They, they said that it locks you off. They didn't necessarily say it, it has a reason. Let's try asking, what does what purpose does my profile status serve? Why am I shackled to this abyssal profile status? If it is meant to demean my person, I assure you I am wholly unaffected. Mygmulsaber, hello. Would you kindly give me one moment to finish something up? Be polite. Take all the time that you require. Thank you for your patience. It is a quality well valued in Gehenna. Your profile is created for you when you first arrive here. It is your all-purpose uh, passport to Gehenna, providing a seamless, persistent identity between the different realms. It has some rather clever features. First, it tracks just about everything that you do here, from what you post to billboards, to how you perform in games, to the kind of art that you like. Second, this profile data is used to show you, c show you content that we think you'll enjoy, and to tailor interactive experiences to your particular character. We can also tell very easily who is really contributing and who is simply trolling the billboards. Finally, all of this information is used to calculate your profile status. This is the number you see appended to the user's names, and it represents your achievement in Gehenna. It is a complex function of your creative contributions to our society and what they mean to others. But in short, the higher it is, the deeper your role. Now, since you were so patient, is there anything else I can help you with relatively quickly? Uh, who is in charge? Who is in charge? I demand to speak to your leader. Sorry to disappoint you, but Gehenna has no leader. Admin 10 founded Gehenna, but has since retired from public service. The billboard system is moderated and maintained by a team of high-profile members including Borg, Orc, and myself. But for the most part, we merely maintain the systems and do our best to keep everyone happy. Gehenna is driven by its citizens. Now I apologize, but I must get back to what I was doing. If you have any outstanding moderation requests, conversations like this are the reason I'm not further through the backlog. Have fun. Terminating direct message. Alright. Definitely have more to look through in the, in the future. But let's take a break from that. Because I'm wondering... How do I get to that star? Let's try to get a close-up look. So star is here. There must be a way to get up there. 
So I would assume walking along one of these ledges, which would mean there must be a way to get on top of the ledge somehow. If I walk along this thing, that would take me... I can't jump that high. I, can, I can't carry the block necessarily. How close does he get to this cliff? That's a decent question. Not very close. Okay, that's a problem too. What if I have to go outside? That's a question. Oh, uh, maybe I could jump up here with the block? Maybe I- maybe it is just a simple block puzzle. Let's go ahead and retire this puzzle. Hexahedron, I need you. Love me. Love me. Hit. Sadness happened today. Much- mucho sadness. Okay. Is there a place that's easier to get on top? Ooh, maybe this rock. Oh, I did it! Can I grab the rock? I can't grab it back. What? That doesn't usually happen. Well, that's a bummer. Maybe that was unintended. I need a spot where I can get it back. See, I can walk along most of this if I can get there. What about this corner over here? Huh? Get a little bit better suited into the corner, maybe? No. If I can get on any part of this wall, I could walk along most of it. I now have access to the inside, so let's try that. Computer terminal. I feel like I could almost use that. It's all locked off, though. Oh, this, the, the ceiling's, the wall's a little higher here. I mean, lower. The ceiling, by which I mean the floor's a little higher. Huh. Might have to scrape the environment, finding for a spot where I can climb. This seems like something I could do. I'm at the first puzzle right now. I can't pick up boxes, can I? What's going on with that? Oh. Stay put. Oh, what's this down here? It's nothing... ...sweet. <laughs> I can pick up this- now I can pick up the box. Now where can I go from here? Oh my goodness. What kind of dastardly plot have we unlocked? I can just jump there? Whoa. Oh my god, I can just bring the box right out of the chest chamber. Is there a star up here? No? Okay. This could change everything. Huh. My initial plan was to use this box to go around the back, maybe, but maybe I can go around the front now. Either way, I can grab this- I can go look at this hat, probably. Yeah. You're my hat now. I got a green hat! I got a green hat! Uh, let me out. What do I do with you, besides pick you up? Who's a cool little hat? Can I put you on something? Can I put you on the block? Oh my god, what if I put you on the box? Your box hat. It doesn't work that way? Ah. I need to put you on a, I need to put you on a gargoyle. Hit. Hit. Aw, sadness hat. Doesn't like to be on gargoyles. It also doesn't have a hole for a head to go in. The bottom's also blank. Well, I successfully found a hat at least. Not entirely sure what I could do with it. Let's see here. I could probably jump out of there, huh? Or maybe over here. Let's see, can I grab this? Th can I jump over here? Grab it? Just platform around a bit? No, nope. oh, well now I'm stuck in here. Alright. Hit. Hit. Oh. I'm just trying to get on top of the wall, man. Oh, man. Oh, this looks like it was actually really easy to get through. Here. Come on. Hit. Oh no, it's stuck in there now. I guess I, I guess I always had the ability to go through here though. Huh, I'm trying to find a way to get this into that test chamber so I have two blocks. Ooh, you're promising. No, you're not. I 
Oh, I found another star. This is another star on top of this gate. Huh. Oh god, it's the leprechaun. Is that his leg? Found the leg. Is there an entire, like, weird leprechaun body to, to reconstruct around here? Dear lord. I mean, that's a little concerning, right? Found a hat and a leg. Jesus. Is that also something green? What's this one? Looks like a piece of torso? I can't even identify that one, it's just something green. Do they all combine together when I find all the pieces? Is there just a bunch of green stuff? Staggered about? Now I'm extra paranoid about what I could have been missing so far. Oh! Just picked this up on accident. <laughs> Leg. We have two legs and a torso. What the what? Oh, it's just telling me I can jump on that thing. Well, this is weird. This is strange. Oh, found more. I can't even see some of these. I just kind of walk into a... a grassy area and be like, here's a piece of something. Oh, gross. Can I stack it? It looks like that combines right there. That's his weird belt and sash. Oh, what's that? Is that one? It's his face. I found his face. Wow. I'm kind of surprised that hat's the first one I saw when there's this many pieces of him around. Who knows what I do with him when I find him? Can I put the hat on his head? What if I do like alternate fire? No? Well, this is a little gruesome. Oh, arm! Stashed over by the, uh, fir by the, uh, really hard chamber. What do we have left? I guess a torso? And the other arm, more or less. It's a lot of pieces. Oh, uh, this seems important. Like the kind of thing that'd be here on purpose. Let's try this. Hit. Hit. Grab it again. There we go. What can I do from here? Around here? It looks like it doesn't lead me anywhere. Ooh. That could potentially lead me on top of the other, other side too, but for now... Let's see what I can get away with right here. Oh, I'm standing here. Let's just grab it before I fall. In case I- because if I fall, now I won't lose it at least. Jump. Oh, this is good. I think I've done it. What's that whole area? We'll check that out later. Come on, star. Cannot make jump. Careful. Aha! Two stars down. What's out there? What does it all connect to? Does it even lead outside, or is it just a weird gap? I can't tell. I kind of want to check it out. I hope I'm not stuck. What could be back here? Uh, I might be stuck. This probably isn't a way out, huh? Nope. That's the entrance to the chamber that has the star in it. So this is the whole in-between zone. And I don't see a door. Alrighty. Oh, maybe I'll get out over here. No, I don't think I can get out of here. So, I'm gonna have to restart. But I think the fact that I can take this, this block out of where its home is maybe integral in how do I get the other star, so we'll check that out next time. And if that's not how I get that star, it's probably how I get something. You can, there's definitely something involving the fact that you can move these blocks around. Thanks for watching, guys.